Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Mold. So happy to be with you guys playing some Plunder Pirates. Ow. Uh, <laughs> but today, uh, many of you guys are new to the game um, because it just came out on Android. So there's a whole bunch of Android users. So we're going to kind of go over uh, some of the basics of the game for y'all. Um, obviously, you're going to figure out a lot on your own, which is the best way to do it. You just got to mess around play have a good time um, but we're gonna go over kind of some attacking and, and just some stuff like that so um, first of all the two most important buildings on the base in my opinion the Academy and the uh, the voodoo hut I need to go in here and I need to uh, recruit one of these guys he'll be done in 34 seconds we're gonna use them in a second so um, over here at the Academy guys is where you train your troops and you upgrade them, you give them more attack, you give them more whatever. So we're gonna go ahead in here, we're gonna look at the brute. So you can see every time you see this, uh, he gets plus 200 toughness, which is like his health. Um, those are the damage boosts. These are uh, an additional 300% damage when attacking walls, etc., etc. And then you move on, and this is where you get your first ability right here. So uh, your troops actually have abilities in this game, which is awesome because you can use them to really, really help the outcome of the battle. Now, the Brute uh, has an ability where he draws the attention of any defenses in his range. So if, you're, if the enemy defenses are attacking your gunners and you don't want them to because they are the DPS dealers, then you're going to want to hit this and then they'll all focus on him and then, they can, and then your gunners will take out the defenses. So that's awesome. Uh, we can go into the Voodoo Hut and we can look at the Witch Doctor right here and you can see uh, that his ability right here is uh, resurrect your fallen comrades with this skill so they can fight again, um, albeit as rattling skeletons. So he brings them back to life, and I'll actually show that to you guys in a replay in a second. So, uh, oh no, low battery, no! <laughs> so those two abilities, guys, are, um, or those two buildings are probably the most important on the thing, on the base, because they upgrade your troops, which you attack with, which is where you get your loot from. So. Um, obviously you guys can figure out defenses, so on and so forth, all that kind of stuff. You have a ship that explores the ocean and you have a guild ship that you can get uh, troops donated to. So we're going to head over here to Plunder. You have where you can fight a rival captain. We're not going to do that. I'm going to show you all a replay. And then we have Explore the Seas. So we're going to go and explore the seas, guys. Now when you explore the seas, you have a bunch of different options. You can collect loot from uh, islands and things like that that you have discovered in the past. Um, and as you explore, you get to defeat awesome uh, little things like this Kraken over here. Ba -da -da. Look at him. Looks freaking awesome. All these ships. Um, you can attack. You can fight right here as well. And as you go on uh, and defeat those more and more, you get more loot uh, until eventually you defeat the island. And uh, you just explore. You clear the map, guys. And that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that you can always come out here and fight. So right now we've got a whole, we've got 60 Buccaneers and we are going to go clear some area on this map. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come right up here. We're going to fight this shark. You can see that shark right there, his little fin. We're going to come over, fight this Kraken. Then we're going to fight this big ship. And then let's see if we can make it all the way over here to the land. Nice, we can. So we can make it all the way to the land. So that's a five-hour thing right there, guys. So we're going to go ahead and set sail. And then in five hours, that'll be up. You'll be able to clear your map right here. And you'll be able to collect loot and whatnot from the giant fish, the Kraken, and, of course, the shark. So, that's what you do out here. It's pretty cool uh, that you get to explore right there. You can see the cool graphics of the table and everything as you spin around, uh, which is awesome. Now we're going to go back and we're going to watch an attack. And I'm going to show you guys some special abilities in action and uh, things like that. So over here on the left, you can see the little book with the feather in it. If you go click on the swords, that's your attack log. If you go click on uh, the other one, it's your defense log. We're going to go watch this one right here. Um, we're going to replay that, and I'm going to show you what's going on. So, look at this. It's night mode right now. Awesome. So we're going to drop off our juggernauts, guys. Juggernauts seek out mines and, and things like that uh, to block so that uh, it doesn't destroy all your troops. And then they also do a lot of damage, but they also take a lot of damage. So my favorite strategy is about eight to six juggernauts or six to eight juggernauts. Four, I have five brutes in this, so I don't know why. Four brutes and then the rest gunners along with one witch doctor. So if you don't have a witch doctor, just throw in some more gunners. So you can see the witch doctor right here. He's got that little thing around him. He heals in there. He also resurrects from within there as well. So our gunners and our, uh, not our gunners, but our brutes are heading in. You can see all the exclamation points above their head, guys. That is what I'm talking about. That's their special ability, drawing all the attention of all the defenses that are in range of them. So everybody is shooting at them. Now that ability's over, so they're going to head in. I'll continue doing work, 
And um, we'll go ahead, I'll show you the gunners. That one already passed by, actually. The gunners, you can use their ability. They uh, turn purple, start doing, they start shooting faster and causing more damage. You can see right here, watch these little skeletons. I'm gonna raise that from the dead. There it goes, I just rose that from the dead with his special ability. You can see all those skeletons right there dancing inside. If I had waited just a second, I could have raised all of them to life as well. But you can see the skeletons running in. They're gonna go and do some damage for me and start attacking. They actually do a pretty good amount of damage and they have a lot of life. So it's not bad bringing them back to, back to life to fight for you. Um, so basically guys, you wanna have, just like you want in any kind of strategy game like this, you wanna have a tank that takes all the damage and you wanna have a damage dealer along with that. So in this case, the tanks are pretty much the brutes as well as the juggernauts, um, but since the brutes have that special ability, you can see it's going off again right here, he goes down. Um, but since the brutes have that special ability, they're pretty much my tank in this. You can see again, I'm gonna raise that one to life and raise that one to life as well. Um, and uh, then I have my gunners who are the main damage dealers in this. So we ended up getting a good amount of loot from this attack. Uh, his defenses were upgraded fairly well. But I basically just want to show that to y'all again to say you got to have something that takes the damage, something that deals the damage. That's the biggest thing when y'all are attacking. So that could be buccaneers and gunners, or it could be a whole bunch of brutes and buccaneers or gunners. I use gunners because they can shoot over the wall. Um, but again, that's up to you guys. So there we go with that attack. Uh, obviously, base layout is going to be very important. Um, I, need a, I need to make a new base since I just went up to Pirate Hall 7. Yay! We're at Pirate Hall 7. I just clicked on the outhouse. Uh, we are at Pirate Hall 7 right there, so super excited about that. But we're going to go ahead, come in here, I'll show you what I do. So we always do 6 is what it is. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. Oop, trained up too many. And then 1 Witch Doctor, like that. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. Brutes. And then the rest Gunners. You can train them up right there. You can see what's going on. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it though, guys. I'm excited for all of you who are new. If you are new, let me know down below. Say, I'm new! <laughs> or just say, I'm new. Whatever you want. <laughs> but I'm excited to share all this with you guys. I hope that you all enjoy. If you all came from um, in the game, I hope that you all are ready. Go check out all of my old Plunder Pirates videos. You can see some of the old stuff as well. And we're going to get to it. Um, if you guys like the video, make sure that you hit that like button for me. I'll see you on the next episode, all right? Peace.